So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremely Awakened AGLLR Super Saiyan Youth Gohan at Rainbow Status and with Max Lynx. Now for those of you that have watched me for some time now, you might know that I have a very special relationship with this unit in the sense that he has brought me a lot of pain in the past. It was during the 300 million download celebration and this guy and the int LR cell had just come out and I think I spent somewhere between three to four thousand stones on his banner alone trying to pull him and I never got a single copy. It was the worst shaft I have to this day experienced in Dokkan and since then I've pulled 18 copies of this unit. I have two rainbowed Gohans as well as eight extra copies so yeah that was a good time anyways before we get into the gameplay i want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video this video is brought to you by bloodline heroes of lithis if you guys watch my content regularly then you're no stranger to quality gacha games and bloodline is absolutely one of the best looking ones i've ever played it features a super unique hybrid system which I haven't seen a lot in other gacha games that allows you to mix the, well, bloodlines of different characters in the game from orcs to elves, demons, demigods, vampires, dragonborn, and so on and so forth to create your own fantasy hybrid characters, each taking on the abilities and appearances of its predecessors. There's currently over 800 possible combinations for you to make with new ones being released every few weeks. If you like playing with other people, then this game's also got you covered. Participate in Guild Wars to conquer territories, claim awesome rewards, and create Blood Craft Legends, which are some of the most powerful and unique champions in the entire game. One last system that I absolutely love is the ability to raise heirs with your companions or waifus, allowing you to build your bloodline and extend your empire. So if you're ready to jump into the action right now, then head down to the link in my description and download Bloodline Heroes of Lithis for free for your Android or iOS devices and receive a $20 starter pack containing one summoning crystal, 100,000 gold, and 100 diamonds. On top of that, for the next seven days, the first 20 players to post their account ID and username in the comments down below will receive a free legendary orc champion, Ugril, who is one of the best characters in the entire game. All right, so now let's get into the showcase, and we are currently on the Gamma 1 and 2 stage of the Red Ribbon Army Ultimate Red Zone event, and uh, we have Gohan linked up with his best partner in the entire game, which is the Tech Bird Coup, and as you can see, he's starting with 177k defense, which it's not a lot, right? But he will build up very quickly through his passive as well as through the super attacks. So let's give this guy a uh, 18 key super, nice. And then we have an 18 key for the bird coup as well. And then a super for Gogeta. Okay, so here we go. We do have type disadvantage, but we also get guard. So that's, that's decent actually. That, that's some decent tanking considering how low the defense is, considering the type disadvantage. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. And then we get the additional as well, 4.2. I think the first super was 6.6. .6. Yeah, I think it was 6.6. .6. Okay, after two supers, we're still taking 200k. All right, so obviously these gambas hit very hard, as you guys might know. So I don't think this is really an indictment of Gohan's defensive capabilities, but rather the Gamma's offensive prowess, you know? So uh, yeah, that was actually a lot more damage than I was expecting. But once again, oh, uh, holy crap. Um, <laughs> What was I saying again? Uh, once, once again, when we come back in a couple of turns, okay, we should be doing a, lo a lot, a lot better um, defensively because of the build-up, the stacking of Gohan's defense. All right, so we're gonna 
pop the Whis uh, on this turn because I just we need it. Um, we, we we really do. That was crazy. And uh, yeah, let's heal up a little bit with some orbs. Uh, I'm gonna try to save some AGL orbs for the Gohan because he will be our best healer for sure with all that defense he he gets. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a little shook right now, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie, man. I didn't expect the gammas to hit this hard. Uh, I did obviously. Oh yes. Okay, we got that. We got the stun. We got the stun. That was clutch. Um, obviously, I bit. I, I did beat this stage in the past, but um, I, I don't know how now at this point because of how like crazy this guy is. I mean, yeah, this is wild. This is wild. Uh, anyways, getting back to getting back to the the Gohan side of this showcase, let's put him in the first slot. We do have the stun effect still going. Okay, so we don't have to worry about taking hits. Um, yeah, some healing right there. Some healing from the Bird Coup as well. Some healing from the Goku slash Gohan. It's gonna take us a while though to like you know fully get back. <laughs> to a safe amount of HP. Um, additional super. <sighs> I was really hoping for that additional super. Oh, I should have checked the defense. My bad. Next turn, we get the Gohan. I will check his defense to show you guys how much he's built up. Um, but yeah. Yeah. This showcase took a very quick, unexpected turn. Very, very quick turn. Um, after the the second turn, but that that's that's fine. Okay, so um, offensively, as you can tell, Gohan is uh, very much improved. He's doing a lot more damage than before. His defense is definitely better. I know turn one maybe was a little rough, but now you know from 177k, he's up to let's see, let's see here, he's up to. 386k defense so we more than doubled essentially uh since turn one and he still has oh you know what yo we can get the gohan active skill going here uh, i'm not sure if it's actually the best idea at the moment um hmm now nah, let's just do it now screw it let's just do it now okay so one of my favorite animations one of my favorite at least active skill transformations in the entire game the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, this is one of probably the rarest animations in the entire game because it is very hard to get unless you're specifically, you know, facing off against a certain type of enemy, like an android, for example. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna give him as many orbs as we possibly can. It looks like nine is the max, so we're gonna give him nine orbs. And he's getting 434k defense. And I will also... Should I pop the Whis here? I feel like just because we're so low on... Oh wait, no, we have the revival skill. It doesn't matter. Okay, so if we die, then we die, right? It's, it's not a big deal because we will revive. Okay. Let's get it. 104. 18. You guys just saw that, right? <laughs> you guys just saw that. <laughs> okay, 20 mil attacks that. Oh, additional super, 16 mil additional super. Huh. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. Okay, we're taking a super here. This might hurt. Uh, okay, okay, 221k, yeah. Um, I do feel like the transformation was a little bit premature, but I was worried that if I didn't transform him now, that if we healed up later, then like I wouldn't have a chance to actually show you guys what he can do as Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I think it was still a good idea to use the transformation, but I think if I wasn't doing a showcase and I wasn't trying to guarantee that we saw this form, that I, I would have like kept him as just Super Saiyan Gohan for a little while longer to stack more defense, right? So that's my bad. I guess that's my mistake. But anyways, um, 
I liked what I saw there. <laughs> I, I liked what I saw there. Now let's let Super Saiyan Blue Godita cook a little bit. Okay, I think he will uh, do some nice things for us here. Hopefully get some dodges. That is key. Hopefully get some dodges. That's one. Okay, we need some more dodges. <laughs> we need some more dodges. Or just kill Gamma 2. That would also be a good solution as well. Okay, nice. Nice. Very good. Can we stun Gamma 2? Oh, this is, this is my bad. This is Gamma 1. This is Gamma 1. We faced Gamma 2 in the beginning. This is Gamma 1 because he has the one fin. He has the red cape. Of course, my mistake. Uh, good dodge. Beautiful. And we'll finish him off here with my... Super Saiyan Go Goku. Okay. So last stage here, we're facing Gamma 1 and 2 at the same time. And hopefully get a lot of orbs here. Let's see it. Let's see it. Gain some orbs. Okay. Ooh. Uh, okay. Not as nice as before. But what we do have is the Bird Coup active skill. Obviously... Uh, let's just use it right now. I was gonna say maybe we should save it, but why will we save it? There's no no purpose. Okay, so let's pop the bird coup active skill. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage this is gonna do, but any any amount of damage right now is is good for us. And okay, I mean, it's not it's not terrible. It's not terrible. And yeah, I'm still going to pop the Whis because I just, I don't feel safe right now. So uh, let me think how we can maximize the amount of orbs that we give Gohan. It doesn't seem like there's actually a way to get a ton of orbs, to be honest, to go with those. And then we can still get at least three AGL orbs for Gohan. That's still going to be an 18 key super. So yeah, we're not able to get him a bunch of orbs, but we are able to at least get him that 18 key super, which is still pretty nice yeah okay 18 key super right there and then also another 18 key for the super saiyan goku and vegeta okay yeah there we go <sighs> you know it's fun to do these showcases with harder events but it's also more stressful um you guys might know like before i was doing you know, the showcases on uh, the, the Legendary Goku event or the GT Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event, and those were like stress-free showcases because I just didn't have to worry about dying ever. But in these <laughs> these events, like there is a real chance we die. Um, man, Go Gohan is doing this. <laughs> he is doing these things with three orbs acquired man imagine if we get lucky on a turn and we get like i don't know uh 12 to 15 orbs right um of course you can bring an orb changing item as well but it's not really realistic because on harder events you can't really afford to bring an orb changing item but the point is man um guy's kind of wild no 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 that's an understatement that is understatement of the century he is amazing <sighs> please dodge please do oh no don't tell me we die here yeah that was unfortunate but we're not going to end the showcase that way. Instead, I jumped into the GT Legendary Goku event and, uh, you know, did the first couple of stages. This is on turn 11 after I think Gohan has launched uh, six supers in total. And as you can see, he's up to 680k defense on top of the guard. So now he is very, very tanky. And we're going to give him uh, a full 24k super. On top of that, it's a... 24 key super Dokkan attack, so this should be very, very nice. But let's see what happens. Of course, taking double digits as expected. And his attack stat is over 10 mil. Over 10 mil. Obviously, not hitting as hard as the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but 
still hitting really, really hard. And I wouldn't be surprised if we one-shot the Great Ape here. I mean, if it's a crit, I, I think it's a guarantee one-shot. We'll see. Oh, either way, it's a, it's a one-shot. Okay, 17.9 mil. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this should be the last rotation. 1.1 uh, mil defense now. Full 24k super, hopefully finishing off the full power Super Saiyan 4. Let's get it. Of course, there's no way that Goku can penetrate the Gohan's armor at this point. 1.1 mil defense. Guaranteed guard. I mean, it's crazy. It's it's absolutely crazy. And a crit. Ah, damn it. Well, that was actually kind of disappointing. But <laughs> what can you do? And he got the dodge too. Never mind. There's going to be one more rotation. This should be the final attack, but I don't even know at this point anymore. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, um, that was, I guess, a more complete showcase than I intended for this Gohan, but I think you guys got a good idea of uh, what he's capable of now, uh, both in the Super Saiyan form and the Super Saiyan 2 form. Once again, Super Saiyan 2 is very hard to, to see, to achieve, so it's not something that you can really rely on too consistently, but... If you are able to get it, then he will absolutely wreck shop against whoever he's facing. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.